Hey guys, I'm LB, and no, I have not finished the other Stract and Red Silencer map called Facade. I'm working on it, it will happen someday, I promise. But, uh, for now, to tide everybody over, we're gonna play Complication instead. Complication by Stract and Red Silencer. Difficulty Soft Serve. Like ice cream? A puzzle by Red Silencer, Hammerized by Stract. A puzzle about breaking lasers. Walkthrough by Vecman. So, about the soft serve thing... Um... Is that how my brain is going to fuel after playing it, or does that mean it's easy? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I guess we should find out, though. It's been hammerized, so no teleporting to the start. Unless I want to miss some triggers. Calibre wave. I'm going to tape you solving these, and then watch ten at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst of science. Oh, on a related note, I am gonna need you to solve these ten times as fast. Anyway, okay, uh, Wheatley. Just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, alright? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. Ooh, that almost looks like you could walk down there. Let's try it. Nope! Absolutely not! That tube is made of Aperture Science... antimatter particles, I guess. <laughs> At that point, might as well restart the map, because I probably messed up the music, but whatever. Maybe the music will be fine. Nope, the music's gone. Nope, no music. Right, we're restarting the map. I don't know how to do it, but some maps... Some maps will actually fix the music when you load a quick save. So there is a way to do it, but I don't know what it is, because I obviously don't use hammer. But there is a way! I'm telling you, it's possible. And most maps just don't do it. Let's get in there again. Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, alright? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. What is that about? We got some gel there for some reason. That's a neat detail, though. At least it explains where the gel came from. I guess that might just be anti-trapping. Yeah, perhaps. But it's also very convenient, because it means we don't need to use portals to get out. Ooh. Hello there. Yes, I will press this button to get this cube. Thank you very much. Oh yes, I will block that laser with this cube. Thank you very much. Right, there's that. Probably gonna have to get that back in there later at some point, but who cares? I wanna do this first. Cause we might need this cube out here right now. I'm assuming we do. And we can block the laser from up here instead. See? It's the magic of lasers. Right, uh, where should we go next? I guess we can explore over there. No reason not to, right? Oh crap, well that's a reason not to. <laughs> let's, uh, let's maybe not jump into the portal this time. Let's see here. Let's just walk into the portal like a normal person. Seems like we do want something to hit that button, though. Look at this! That's some detail you don't normally see. Can't get in here, though, but it is nice- nice detailing. We can walk on these, yes? Yes. We've got a funnel, with a strange orangish-reddish glow. This is some very nice hammer work. Oh, what's that? Hello, I didn't see you there before. We can still get back. Good, good, good. Let's, uh... Let's talk about this. Um... Let's not talk about this, because clearly it doesn't do anything for us. Yep, well, okay. <laughs> so much for that. So much for that idea. Okay, now where do I actually need to go? Where do I actually need to go? Yeah, we can't see that from this side. So that's- that's purely for... The benefit of when you're over there. Now we need to block this laser somehow? Huh. Ooh. I suppose that is an idea. What does that button do, though? Oh, that's just tied to the exit temporarily, so we don't need to worry about that, really, because we, we need to actually be find a way to get up there in the first place. So, let's not do that. 
What, would you say that laser is about level with the dropper, approximately? Maybe. Does this key water respawn? Yes, it does! Hey! It's always nice to see that used in a map. I used that in a map once. Play my maps and you'll see which one I used it in. I love that trick. It's so nice. But now we have a light bridge! Um, Do I actually want to use the light bridge, though? That's a good question, I suppose. I'm up here now. Can I see that? Not necessarily. What does that do for me? I don't know, let's go exploring. Oh, I thought I heard something move there. That was weird. Hey, was it just... ambience? Oh, it's something sparking! Oh, it's that sparking, okay. What do we have here? Yeah, I don't think I can stand on that. Not that I would want to. I mean... What is that little... area for? Like, there's nothing... There's nothing across from there. I guess that's just an area for us to jump into the funnel, probably? That'd be my guess. Hmm... I think we would really want to use that, would be my guess. Which means we probably have to redo a bunch of stuff here. Of course, the question is... How... would we actually make use of that? Huh. Well, let's just figure it out, one step at a time here. Actually, I don't even have to redo it as much as I think I do. Making this harder than it needs to be. Uh... Sure, why not. Yeah, see that? That's the power of saving time! Astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. We're not just saving the world, we're saving time! Time itself. Time eternal. So obviously we want this portal on the inside. And that one on the outside. And the big question is gonna be... I don't know when to use this platform, but we'll figure it out, I'm sure. I feel confident we will. Yeah, the big question is gonna be... how we get enough velocity to get onto the light bridge. Because we can certainly get in here and adjust things, but, uh... Getting on the light bridge is gonna be a whole nother issue. Unless I can just jump while shooting a portal there. I don't think that would work too well, though. Something just tells me it won't work. Anyway... Commence the plan of action! Haha, <laughs> that looks so nice. Right. Is it better to jump from this end? Yeah, it's better to jump from this end. Not that we need to, because we have the bounce shell in here. But still, you know what I mean. Are there actually any portal services I could take advantage of this way? I don't think there are. We have to actually step through the fizzler to press the button to respawn the cube. So that's a no-go. And the only other portal services we have is here. Well, that actually turns back on and off, doesn't it? Nice. Hmm. We can't jump from here into this. Oh, actually we can! Oh! That changes a few things. But, uh... Actually, I don't think it does change a few things that much. I mean, I can land here, but... 
whoop de doo <laughs> That's not too helpful. How do I want to do this differently, though? Heh. <laughs> yeah, that's not helpful. It is not helpful one bit. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Wait, what? How did I get up there before? With the light bridge. Must have been like this. Yeah, there we go. There we go! That makes more sense. Can't block the laser here, unfortunately. Because this is cleverly designed. But what I could do is maybe leave the portal up there, perhaps? And it might be helpful, somehow? Who knows? Wonder. We go in here. Lock this laser for a while. There we go. That's at least part of what I wanted to do. I've done something! Not exactly sure what I've done, but at something. By George, I think I've done it. I think that's worth saving over. Don't have my portals the way I would like them to be, but that's okay. Right, so now we can figure out what in the world that funnel does. I bet I just have to stand on the button and it'll pull the cube to me and we'll lose the light bridge. Oh, I can't actually walk in here, because I'm too fat. Eh, that's okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, crap! <laughs> that almost went badly. The reason you had to do that is so that you didn't get the cube to go through the fizzler, because then you just would have had to start over. <laughs> ah, okay. So now we have this. Mm hmm. I think I see. Wow, I saved right on that explosion. Hope that doesn't cause issues down the line. But I actually, my portal's the way I like them, so that's... that's good, I guess. Crap. <laughs> well, that's what quick saves are for. There's no funnel music anyway. I'm not sure why though, because there was totally funnel music in that- in the main game with that song, but, uh... Who knows. 
I'm sure it's some hammer thing that's complicated to do. Yeah, right at the top. That'll work. Yeah! There we go. And now... for the grand finale. Block the portal there. Have him exactly the way I want him to be. And, uh... get out of here! Go home! Yeah! What go? next? Where'd you go? Come back, come back! Under construction. That kinda that kinda <laughs> That's uh that's an actual developer texture. Leaving simulated zone. Ooh. Portal 2 is this way, huh? What is this, a Stanley Parable? It does kinda give me Stanley Parable vibes. Uh, reflection map doesn't look very good, but okay. Hmm. There's still explosions somehow, even though we've left the simulated zone. Interesting. Don't have the portal gun anymore. All arrows point to there, but what's over here? An exit, huh? Can't use the exit. Interesting. Simulation Annex 6A. Oh, I thought I had to pick a button. Uh, let's go... up, maybe? Oh, and that's it! <laughs> Alright, well that was a cool map. Good puzzle, good hammer work. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!